Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. We are with David. David, welcome to the channel. Hey guys. And David is the chase boat captain for the chase boat for Motor Yacht AWOL. He's been with us since, is it, when did he start with us? Since March? Yeah, April actually. April, so April 2019. And a lot of you have been asking to see his accommodation. I want to introduce you properly today. He's been on one or two videos, but hasn't really featured much on the channel. So we're gonna give you the full tour, exterior tour first of the chase boat. I'll explain to you a little later on the difference between a chase boat and a tender. That's a question I get asked a lot. Uh, and so let's start, we're at the helm with David. So explain the type of equipment that we have here, David, and what, what it, where it's used for. All right, so basically, well, we have an adjustment here for the steerings. We have the radio, the VHF, autopilot, so I can turn it on. Here we have the maps, it's kind of really important. Yeah. So usually when I drive, I leave one, it's more zoom out to have an idea where the area. And this one I zoom more in to make sure if there's rocks, I see it and everything. All the details. Yeah. Okay. Main details. And then here is a computer from the engines. So we'll tell you the fuel, um, the trim of the engines, uh, RPM, and if there's any alarm. So it's always good to know. Right, okay. And then the engines we've got are twin? Twin 350 supercharged. So the supercharged are made for water sport. They are more powerful um, to get to the maximum speed. Um, they are a lot harder on the fuel though. That's the yeah, it only. drinks the fuel. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so what, 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 does it, what does the fuel tank hold? Talk about the fuel. Uh, the fuel tank is uh, 730 30 liters. 730 liters, okay. Yeah. And then cruising speed is about what, 30 knots? Yeah, yeah, 30 like knots. 30, 31, it's a good speed. Uh, the bow is not too high in the water, so it's kind of Plains just nicely, slight, yeah. flies through the water. And what do you think yeah. the consumption is at 30 knots, more um, or less? I would say 130. 130 liters an hour. Liters an hour, okay, something so like that. It's pretty thirsty. Yeah. And then here yeah. you're explaining earlier, down here you said you got the bow thruster and the trim tab. So just explain to the viewers that don't understand what trim tabs do, what the benefit is and what's the purpose of it. So when you want to step on the water to gain the maximum speed, it's uh, really useful to have. So it gives you the opportunity to step faster on the water because the trim goes like this, so the bow goes down. Um, and then this one, it's kind of uh, easy going. So you just decide which, it's tell you which side you go to tail the boat. Example, if there's four people on this side, the boat will start doing like this. So then you trim the other side to compensate and to have a proper slice into the water and the waves. Yeah, um, and this, this works better at higher speeds, not so good at low speeds, No, right? it's useless for, uh, for low speed. Yeah. It's only for high speed. Okay, so give us a bit of a tour now around the boat. So let's start with this central cockpit area here, which I really like. Yeah. So as you, if you do the explanation of what they can do, the functionality of it and... Yeah, so here we have two fridges right there. So it's really easy accessible, even for me, I just uh, go between the seat, open it and give it to the guests, give it to the guests. Or sometimes even when you sit here, it's really easy to access to it. Yeah. Um, and then the table, you can flip to make it bigger if you want to. Yeah. Honestly, we never really use it. But it's only when it's like this, it's perfect. You can walk around. Yeah. Um, there's storage underneath here. Uh, usually I put the tow lines and I put the hoses underneath here. The storage um, unit there. Yeah, and then underneath here is uh, mo mostly the safety equipment. Yeah. Um, after that, people really enjoy to sit here, so I put oh, towels. The sunbed, yeah. Yeah, and it's a, a really nice place to, uh, to lay it, uh, also in the front too. So there's two versions of this. There's another one with um, only like uh, a corner where it's good if you do fishing but uh, you cannot lay and you don't have that much of um, here underneath another room. Exactly. So you don't yeah. have this room in the other version. Um, so I prefer this version personally. It's more comfortable and um, fishing on this kind of boat after that, it's personally, it's 
smell fish all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. You got, uh, you got to have a passion for here. fishing, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the other benefit as well with this area is these, as you said, these three seats rotate 180 degrees, so you can sit comfortably. Seven yeah. people have a nice lunch or dinner or breakfast and relax or have a couple of drinks as well. Great. Well, let's make our way to the bow, David, and then you can show us the bow area as well. A nice sunbathing area here. Yeah, it's really nice, really comfortable as well. And um, here you have to, um, for a nice cruise when it's flat, it's perfect. If it's uh, wavy, then you start getting some splash. But some yeah. people really like it too. It depends. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a really prayer. nice view when you cruise around the cruise around the cliff, in uh, especially in Sardinia and Corsica. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, great. And then forward here, you got additional storage locker. Yeah, I put all the boat lines here. Okay, the tow line, the boat lines, lines more lines, here. anchor actually... locker in here. We've got some speakers down here for music. And here is the anchor locker. Uh, it's actually really big too. Yeah, uh, and then this is the reinforcement plate that we installed, guys, for the towing uh, bridles. Yeah, really nice anchor in stainless steel. That's awesome. Fantastic. On the top here, we can see we have a radar and um, the antenna for the VHF for sure. Yeah, search light, nav lights, radar reflectors up there as well. Okay, and then let's take a look at where you live. All right, so... so this is the moment everybody's been waiting for where David sleeps. He's been sleeping here for the last, what, five <laughs> months. Yeah, so but it's... it's um, like all the crew, he's actually got the biggest, he's got the, actually the biggest bed. There we go. All right. I'll sit here, you can give us a tour, David, of your, of right. your wonderful um, bachelor pad. Well, maybe you guys are not aware, but the captain is sitting right now on the toilet. So, <laughs> so I'll show you guys here. So basically underneath here is the toilet. There's an electric toilet and it's got a holding tank. It's got fresh water on board. It's got a water pump. Yeah, you can actually leave for a weekend on board. Uh, there's another room, like I said, in the in the stern. The off but, cabin, yeah. Uh, for a weekend, it's good. There's no toilet on the other side, and um, there's if you want to go to the bathroom, I guess someone need to go out if you're two. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and here there's a sink, um, and then there's a little stove, but we don't cooker. use we it don't here. Use it. Yeah. Um, and then the AC unit is here. Um, I can yeah. show you quickly. Plus the AC compressor there. Right here. Great. Um, and then, well, we have two windows. I, we can open Fresh, the, the, the front. Forward, yeah, the front opens up. Yeah, which is amazing to have a breeze go through there and the door. And with the fan, it's perfect. I'm not a big fan of AC, so I use mainly the fans and the, the windows. Um, and then, well, the bed is here. So as you can see, it's kind of a big bed. It's you have the biggest bed out of all the crew. Yeah. So ladies, David is single. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for the storage, since it's a boat that you're not actually supposed to leave on it, um, the shower is outside. Actually, I forgot to show you. And for the clothing, I need to put my clothing on the side, which, which is enough space. But uh, then you guys see my clothing. Yeah, it's <laughs> at the top of everything. Yeah. Um, but other you... than that, it's a, it's a really nice... Uh, you got nice uh, power plugs so you can, you can connect to the shore power yeah. for your fans and then you connect it here and then you can plug in your music and you got your music control also yeah. there as well and then lots of natural lighting they're actually quite bright in here yeah. when it's uncovered yeah it's nice yeah um, here look you got a nice skylight so you can well I'm not looking at the stars you're actually looking at the t-top yeah, if you want to watch the story, you need to open, open that one. Yeah, and yeah. then you switch the pillow the other side, which is which is nice. Very romantic, David. Yeah, romantic. And then so the question for you is, uh, what's it like being living in here for the last four months, five months? It's uh, it's really nice. I'm really used to to live on a boat actually, so it's fine. Okay. Um, the only thing I would say is when we are anchor, the big boat cannot go close from shore or any like you need to stay in deeper water. So for a small boat like this one, it's like, boom, rocky. Yeah, moving around it's really a lot. rocky sometimes. So you have a long night, night sometimes, and you need to um, to uh, to don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's part of try the to, yeah, yeah. Try and get some sleep. And a few times I went to anchor like by myself 
on really near from the beach and it was super calm and it was super nice so uh, I have this opportunity you know I, I, I'm not stuck there I can actually move around and go where it's more quiet so mm -hmm. it's it's nice then um, and then come back at the morning had a nice uh, beach, uh, <laughs> beach <laughs> night. yeah very cool so guys um a lot of people on the channel have been asking, you know, what is the difference between a chase boat and a tender? So I'm going to break it down for you. Basically, a tender normally lives on board the mothership. So it's normally used for either water sports or transporting guests from point A to point B, which will tend to be normally the shore to the boat or the boat they might want to go and see closer to the, you know, closer to the shore, go and explore. The, the perks, the benefits with the tender is that you can bring it on board and you can stow it on board and it's secure. Whereas with a chase boat, either the chase boat captain is driving it, therefore you're consuming more fuel, or you're towing it. And the problem with towing, if the weather kind of closes in, it can be a bit tricky to be very careful and monitor the weather. But saying that, the benefit uh, with the chase boat, in my opinion, in my opinion, far outweighs the benefits of the tender because it's essentially it's its own boat. It's a it's it's a day boat. It's designed to be used for a family with all the guests through the day. You know we can set up picnics. We got the fridge. The guests will always be very comfortable. They got the sunbed aft, sunbed forward, and the comfortable seating area as well. It's great also for water sports with the twin three fifty outboards on the back. And the other benefit is if we do anchor outside a port, say we anchor in the Bay of Saint Tropez, for example, and the guests get all dressed up because they want to go for a nice dinner ashore, the benefit of the bigger chase boat is that if they hit a little wave or something, they're not going to get splashed and covered in seawater. Whereas with a tender, they tend to be a bit smaller, and if you hit a wave, it's going to be a bit more uncomfortable, they're going to get wet. So it's a lot more of a comfortable ride also for the guests. So that's the difference between a tender and a chase boat. Now, uh, another question, David, that we've been getting a lot is what do you do in the winter months after the season? Because you're finishing with us at the end of October. So tell us about what your plans are for the winter and what you're up to. Um, so basically, I've been living in the Bahamas for about five years um, on my own sailboat. I just sold it and now I bought a new one that I will actually do charter with. So I'm looking forward to it and use my new chase boat, uh, sailboat to do charter all around the Bahamas and it will start in January this year and yeah it's pretty much my dream uh, I was awesome. working on that for a while so, t so what's the name of the boat first of all? I named the boat uh, Boom Shakalaka and what, what, what kind of sailing boat is it? what's the length and give us a bit more it's information a, it's a 46 footer yeah there's three double cabins it's all antique inside it's a really nice boat um it's a fastest and best set boat i sailed with right um and uh, yeah it's the perfect boat that i wanted for what i do i i travel a lot around the bahamas i do like there's caves there's like sharks I, there's so many things to see um, and I'm actually specialized with sharks also, so I do a lot of uh, underwater photography and, and special concept of food. And it's uh, I really like doing um, this kind of uh, exploration or new concept or always something new. And uh, this is why I'm still in the Bahamas after five years. I still discover new things, I still improve things, and I still uh, discover new concept, new project. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for the next year. Actually. Fantastic. And if anybody's interested, guys, if you're interested at all in chartering David's boat, I think the the budget or the costing is a lot more affordable than chartering AWOL. So for those people that might be interested in following you, what, how do they follow you? How do they find you? Well, actually, I'm working on my website right now. It should be done soon. But I have my personal um, Instagram, which is my name, David Langlua with double S at the end. And I actually open a, a page on Facebook and Instagram for my new company, which is Epic Dream Charter, uh, with my sailboat Boom Shakalaka. Perfect. <laughs> so what I'll do, guys, I'll uh, put a link in the description below for Boom Shakalaka and Epic Dream Charters. So check out David's uh, Instagram. He's got some very, very cool photos, which I put some actually on this video, on his Instagram account. He does all the free diving with sharks. If you're interested in the underwater activity in the Bahamas, check him out and then, you know, book a chance with him. So I think he's got a few available slots left. 
And anyway, so this is a tour of the chase boat. A lot of you have been requesting this, so it's finally done. I did say I was going to do it, got there in the end. David, thank you so much for your time today. And remember guys to follow David, he's, he's a great guy and uh, we look forward to seeing you again in future videos and hopefully you'll be starting your own YouTube video, your own YouTube channel, yes. sorry. Yes, so that's the right. plan. You, you told me many times about it and you're not the only one. I, I'm, I honestly think I will start uh, as soon as I get uh, to my boat, I will, uh, I will yeah. start uh, I think with the, with the underwater <laughs> stuff, uh, you guys got to check out his Instagram. He's got like 30,000 followers on Instagram. He's got some awesome photos underwater. Uh, so I'll put a, like as I said I'll put a link in the script below anyway guys um, if you want to see kind of more yachting content do check out my Instagram at super yacht captain one I post like photos of super yachts and little mini short videos about super yacht industry so do check that out and also we've got our Facebook page super yacht captain do please consider subscribing to the channel as it really does help me to grow and I look forward to seeing you all next video